So hello students, in this video we are going to learn about a very important concepts of ionic equilibrium that is ionization of water. The concepts of ionization of water play a very important role in entire ionic equilibrium. So understanding of ionization of water and its contribution to the ionization of electrolytic solutes is very important. <clears throat> we know that water is itself a very weak electrolyte which ionizes by the expression this H plus OH minus. That is the simple representation of ionization of water otherwise it is written as H2O plus H2O given HO minus plus H3O plus hydronium ion. So that is the same way. It is the simplest way of representing ionization of water. <clears throat> For this ionization reaction, the equilibrium constant which is denoted by Kw and read as ionic product of water <clears throat> which is nothing but Kc of this expression which is concentration of H plus into concentration of HO minus. So ionic product of water is a form of equilibrium constant which is expressed by the expression Kw is equal to H plus into OH minus concentration. And the value of this Kw is 10 raised to the power minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. That is very important. We know that equilibrium constant is a function of temperature. So the value of Kw is 10 raised to the power minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. That is one thing. <coughs> now, in case of pure water, in pure water, there is no any other source of H plus and OH minus and therefore one molecule of water ionizes to give one molecule of H plus and one, one, one ions of HO minus. Two molecules of water on ionization will give two hydrogen ions and two hydroxide ions. So now we can say that in pure water the concentration of H plus and OH minus will always be equal. So this Kw can be written as concentration of H plus square which will also be equal to concentration of HO minus square which is 10 raised to the power minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. So concentration of H plus which is equal to concentration of OH minus will be equal to root under Kw which is 10 raised to the power minus 7 at 25 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> so in pure water pH which is negative log of concentration of hydrogen ion will be equal to minus log of 10 raised to the power minus 7 which will be 7 and the same will be pH also because H plus is equal to OH minus so that is pH also. So pH of pure water at 20, 25 degrees Celsius is 7. Now We know that this ionization process is endothermic since bond is broken in this ionization process so we can say that enthalpy of ionization of water is positive. Since delta H is positive now we can predict the effect of temperature on Kw. So increasing temperature will increase the value of Kw 
since the process is endothermic and decreasing temperature will decrease the value of Kw. So, we can say that, that <coughs> increasing temperature will increase Kw and H plus as well as HO minus since H plus OH minus is root under Kw so if Kw is increased H plus OH minus will increase therefore increasing temperature decreases pH and pOH of water because H plus and pH are inversely related OH minus and pOH are inversely related so if H plus concentration is increased pH will decrease if OH minus concentration is increased pOH will decrease and reverse will be true for decrease in temperature so decrease in temperature will increase pH and pOH of water Now the very important concept is that how this ionization of water is going to be affected if it is a solution of acid or base and what will be the role of this ionization in calculating H plus and OH minus in case of solution of acid and base. To understand that let us take an example of a solution of strong acid say HCl. Let us take an example of a solution of HCl in water. We know that HCl is a strong acid it ionizes completely. So HCl ionization can be written as HCl giving H plus and Cl minus but at the same time water will ionize giving H plus and OH minus for which Kw is H plus into OH minus. Now what is happening that now in water there is another source of hydrogen ion that is HCl. HCl is giving hydrogen ion to the solution and H plus is also being produced by the ionization of water. Since HCl is a strong acid it ionizes completely it gives a lots of hydrogen ion to the solution. So if we add HCl to water the concentration of hydrogen ion will increase here but the product of these two has to be constant. So in order to maintain the constant H plus into OH minus OH minus will have to will have to decrease and how the OH minus can decrease? OH minus can decrease if some OH minus combines with some H plus to produce some water. So addition of HCl will suppress the ionization of water by common ion effect. That means now in solution the contribution of water to total hydrogen ion concentration will not be 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar as in case of pure water. Now water will contribute the hydrogen ion concentration less than 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar due to 
due to the common ion effect, this reaction will shift in backward direction. So, how to account for that common ion effect? That can be done in two ways. <coughs> One is, let C be the concentration of HCl. And let us say, water ionizes X mole per liter, giving X mole of H plus and X mole of OH minus. But since HCl is a strong acid, it will ionize completely to give C mole of H plus and C mole of Cl minus. So now, the hydrogen ion concentration now, is what? X plus C. X from water and C from strong acid. And hydroxide ion concentration is still X. KW is a constant which is independent of concentration. So, KW will be X plus C into X, which is X square plus CX. So, now we can write X square plus CX plus, sorry, minus KW, minus KW is equal to 0, which is a quadratic equation in X, which is a quadratic equation in X. KW is known, it is 10 to the power minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. Concentration of acid will be given. So, with the knowledge of KW and C, X can be known. Once X is known, concentration of hydrogen ion will be equal to X plus C. X is determined from sol by solving quadratic equation. C will be given the concentration of acid. This is one way of attempting this problem. The another way is to use a simple concept known as principle of electroneutrality, <clears throat> which states that a solution cannot be positively charged or negatively charged. The net charge of any solution must be zero. The total positive charge must be equal to total negative charge. So, in case of solution of HCl in water, we can see that again, in case of solution of HCl in water, the solution has only one type of cation which is hydrogen ion, but two type of anion, chloride ion and hydroxide ion. So, total negative charge on chloride ion and hydroxide ion must be equal to total positive charge on hydrogen ion. All are unitly charged. So, we can also say that the number of hydrogen ion will be equal to sum of the number of chloride ion and hydroxide ion since they all have unit charge. So, now we can say that the concentration of hydrogen ion which is which will represent the total positive charge is equal to concentration of chloride ion plus concentration of hydroxide ion. That is principle of electroneutrality. We have conserved the total charge. Concentration of chloride ion is nothing but concentration of HCl, C, but concentration of hydroxide ion can be written from the ionic product expression concentration of hydroxide ion will be equal to KW divided by concentration of hydrogen ion. So, C plus KW upon concentration of hydrogen ion. So, now we can write a standard expression for H plus is equal to C plus KW upon concentration of so, this is the standard expression 
this is the standard expression for hydrogen ion concentration in a solution of HCl or like a strong ethyl in which this part is contribution from this part is contribution from acid and this part is contribution from water which is in the range of 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar a range of 10 to the power minus 7 molar not exactly 10 to the power minus 7 molar so if the acid is concentrated enough if c is greater than 10 raised to the power minus 6 molar then we assume that the contribution of water that is this term to the total hydrogen ion or hydroxide ion concentration is negligible in comparison to the hydrogen ion concentration contributed by a strong acid. So, contribution of water to total concentration of hydrogen ion can be ignored can be ignored but but if concentration of hydrogen ion from acid is less than 10 raised to the power minus 6 molar contribution contribution of ionization of water to total hydrogen ion concentration can't be ignored we cannot ignore this it will have to be considered <coughs> to solve this situation let us try to work out a numerical problem question is given that Kw of water at 25 degrees Celsius is 10 raised to the power minus 7 sorry 10 raised to the power minus 14 determine pH of at 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar HCl solution <coughs> concentration of acid is given which is 10 raised to, power, 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar which is a very small concentration so it is a solution of very it is a very dilute solution of a strong acid but no matter how dilute or concentrated it is it is HCl is a strong acid, it will ionize completely. Suppose, suppose if we ignore ionization of water, what will happen? Concentration of hydrogen ion will be simply concentration of HCl that is 10 to the power minus 7 molar. So pH will be 7 which is a big wrong. <coughs> Concentration 
concentration of any acid cannot be 7 or greater than 7 at 25 degrees Celsius. So it's wrong. Where is the mistake? Ignoring the con contribution of water. Second, a second mistake usually we do is we simply add the concentration of hydrogen and pro water is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar, which is another mistake. Hydrogen and concentration from water is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar only, only, only in case of pure water. So, do not take Hydrogen and concentration from water is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar. It will be less than this due to common ion effect. Now solve it appropriately how it is solved. So we have HCl ionizing completely to give H plus Cl minus. So its concentration tended to the power minus 7 molar will produce tended to the power minus 7 molar H plus tended to the power minus 7 molar Cl minus. But water will ionize to give H plus and OH minus. Using the principle of electroneutrality, we can say that from electroneutrality principle, we can say that concentration of H plus is equal to concentration of Cl minus plus concentration of OH minus. Concentration of Cl minus is 10 raised to the power minus 7. Concentration of OH minus will be Kw upon concentration of H plus. So now it is again a quadratic in hydrogen and concentration. So we can solve this. Concentration of hydrogen ion square minus 10 raised to the power minus 7 concentration of hydrogen ion minus Kw which is 10 to the power minus 14 is equal to 0. So positive root of this will be equal to minus B. So 10 to the power minus 7 plus root under B square 10 to the power minus 14 minus 4ac will be plus 4 into 10 to the power minus 14 upon 2a. So 2. Taking 10 to the power minus 7 out of this root and common, it will be 10 raised to the power minus 7, minus 7 into 1 into 1 plus root 5 by 2. Root 5 is 2.2. So, it is 3.2 divided by 2, so 1.6, so it is 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar. This is the concentration of hydrogen ion in this solution. Now we can say that, now we can say that out of this, out of this, 10 to the power minus 7 molar is from HCl and 0.6 into 10 to the power minus 7 molar which is less than 10 to the power minus 7 molar is from water which established that in case of solution of a strong acid and a strong base the concentration of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion both from water will be less than 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar. So for pH we can 
take the negative log so pH will be equal to minus log of 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 so it can be written as minus log of 16 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 so it will be 8 minus 16 is 2 raised to the power 4 so 4 log 2 so it will be 8 minus 4 into log 2 is 0.3 so 4 into 0.3 1.2 so it is going to be 6.8 that is the exact pH of 10 raised to the power minus 7 molar HCl solution. The same principle can be applied to work out the case of very dilute solution of a strong methods.